it is the nature of all living things to grow. The desire to extend ourselves, to surpass our limits, to become the greatest version of ourselves is built into us biologically. But what are the optimum conditions for our growth and for extraordinary achievement? My name is Dr. Joseph Lau. I'm a developmental psychologist who spent the past 41 years studying how humans grow. My book with Dr. Jason Young, Resistance to Belief Change, Limits of Learning, provides a detailed analysis of how our entrenched beliefs may impede our growth. What I have discovered as a scholar and as a human being is that several conditions are necessary for optimum growth and extraordinary achievement. First, our basic physical and emotional needs must be satisfied. Now, having said that, I will admit that it is possible to achieve great things when we're hungry, scared, or out of breath. But these basic needs are so powerful that they forcefully attract our attention, and it takes extraordinary effort to overcome them. This is why great achievement is much more common when these needs have been satisfied than when they have not. Once our basic needs have been met, the most important thing we must do to achieve great success is set clear goals. We have to know where we want to be before we can figure out how to get there. Everything that is to come depends on this, and so it's vitally important that we select wisely. If we want to reach the highest levels of achievement, we should select a goal that ignites our passion. We'll know we've made the right choice if we wake up in the morning eager to act on that goal, and it's a constant focus of our attention throughout the day. Extensive psychological research has shown that the more passionate we are about a goal, the more we focus on it, and the more ardently we'll pursue it, and the more effectively we'll learn what we need to do to achieve that goal. Selecting a clear goal and everything else that is to follow will be a lot easier if we have a clear mind. But having a clear mind can be quite a challenge in these modern times. TV, our mobile devices, other people, our jobs, and alarming world events all clamor for our attention. This is why many of the world's greatest achievers practice some form of meditation. Meditation improves our ability to focus our mental energy, and it helps us establish a peace of mind that will be indispensable for the highest levels of achievement. But if you want to achieve what no one else has achieved, we'll find it necessary to think and or do what no one else has. Here again, meditation can help. This is because meditation helps us see reality more clearly. It helps us look at what everyone else before us has looked at and see what no one else has seen. Once we've selected a clear goal, the next step to great achievement is to make the commitment to do everything it takes to achieve our goal. Commitment is necessary because great achievements are not easy. Most of the world's top performers have invested more than 10,000 hours of effort and practice in order to achieve the highest levels of performance. This obviously requires a very serious commitment. Finally, the most important key to great achievement is concentration of energy. By concentration of energy, I mean the concentration of mental energy in the form of thought and the concentration of physical energy in the form of bodily action. We must first focus our thoughts clearly, ardently, on what we wish to achieve. We must visualize as clearly as we can what success looks like. And we should have no fear of obstacles, for these distractions from our goal are merely the disguises presented by opportunities for our own growth. As we adapt our thoughts and actions to the circumstances at hand, the obstacles will fall away by themselves, having served their purpose. We should feel what success feels like. We should be grateful for our success even before it arrives, for it's already been manifested in our mind and it's in the process of becoming visible to our eye. And then we must take massive action. Having made the commitment to do what success requires, we must now follow through and physically perform the necessary tasks, perhaps over a long period of time to transform our thoughts into reality. Herein lies the final and greatest key to our success. All of our thoughts and realizations may set the stage, but it is our physical actions that will finally cause our thoughts to blossom into reality. Actions the often overlooked and the greatly underestimated bridge between thought and reality. At the end of the day, it's the hard work that we do that makes our dreams come true. Our thoughts and actions are each powerful by themselves, but when the power of thought is lying with the power of action, the combination is nearly irresistible. However, there is one more quality that's important to the achievement of long-term goals. That is discipline. Discipline can be defined as doing what needs to be done for oneself and others when it needs to be done, even when we don't feel like it. Discipline adds the commitment, the capacity to take action 
during those inevitable times when we don't feel like it. When I was working my doctoral dissertation at Columbia University, there were times when I wanted to wait for the right amount of inspiration. But when inspiration took too long to arrive, I found it necessary to go ahead and do what had to be done anyway, even without the inspiration. Now, if we perform these tasks, it won't be long before we start to see the change in our circumstances that was predicted by the changes in our thoughts. One of the ways we'll know when we're making progress is that we will be attracted to, and we'll attract to ourselves others who share our interests. If we're wise, we'll collaborate to our mutual advantage. In the process, each of us will achieve just what we need at that particular point in our development and what neither of us could achieve alone. One of the reasons I find this so fascinating is that the history of humanity shows that when a group of like-minded people pool their energy and resources to achieve a shared goal, there's almost no limit to what we can achieve.